Audrey Goodell actually answered some questions about Taylor Swift last night in the entire Swift effect during his press conference. That was a little bit different than they have been in the past. Invite only earlier in the week. Did get some pushback and some follow-up questions, but not really the show in the performance that we're used to seeing Roger Goodell from Super Bowl week. Obviously, he was going to get asked about Taylor Swift and even scripting games. Whoa. Here's Roger Goodell. Whoa. Let's talk about ratings right now. Um... You know, both championship games, over 50 million viewers. What do you attribute that those record-breaking numbers to? And in all honesty, how much is it the Taylor Swift effect? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> um, I would tell you it's because of the great competition. Um, listen, the competition has been off the charts this year. Um, we've had 70 games that I think 70% of our games have been within one score in the fourth quarter. Um, the, the young stars, the older stars, the, the amazing performances by teams, you see all that. That's what fans ultimately love. Having the Taylor Swift effect is also a positive. Listen, they, they're, both Travis and Taylor are wonderful young people. They seem very happy. She knows great entertainment. And I think that's why she loves NFL football. But I think it's great to have um, have her a part of it. Uh, obviously, it, it creates a buzz. It creates uh, a, another group of young fans, particularly young women, that um, are interested in seeing why is she going to this game? Why is she interested in this game? Besides Travis, she's a football fan. And I think that's great for us. Football girl won a couple Grammys the other night. We're yep. proud of her, obviously, and mm -hmm. pumped up for her. He also talked about the NFL being rigged or scripted in an actual press conference. What do you say to those who think it's all scripted by the NFL? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm that good a scripter um, or anybody on our staff. I, I, I think it's, you know, I listen, there is no way uh -oh. that I could have scripted that one. Let's <laughs> oh. just put it that way. But she is, um, oh. or anybody in our office, she's she's a oh, remarkable yeah. performer. She knows great entertainment. I had the opportunity to go to two of her concerts with our girls and my wife. Um, I, she She's the best oh. of the best. And, and so having her come to NFL games, have her a part of that is nothing but a positive. So obviously, so I'm not that good of a scripter. And I think what we've been saying about the NFL is rigged crowd is we could see why you would think what you're thinking because the NFL's writings are doing this. They must be doing something to cook the books when nobody else can seemingly keep up. But then you're giving credit to a lot of people, hmm. <laughs> like a lot of people. And Roger, So many moving parts. Think about that. Well, and also masterminds. And, you know, like the amount of ma – like Roger Goodell, when he's laying in bed at night or laying on his <laughs> ladder chair, eating peanut M&Ms, watching NFL football in his basement doing his thing, he has to think to himself, when he's away from the cameras and nobody hears – these people think I'm a genius. These people got me <laughs> writing a script for an entire league that's getting 200 million people to watch the season finale of what I watched. And the matter of fact is, I get it that you maybe got screwed or a ref made a bad call. We've all been there. We've been pissed. Yep. Okay, We've all been there. We've all been pissed. But the amount of people that would have to be in on this for this to happen is absurd. And also, think about if it didn't work out this way, what the story would be. Like, let's say Lamar Jackson made it. You don't think that's a storybook type mm -hmm. rigged script that the NFL would potentially want to put together? How about the D Detroit Lions? Mm -hmm. yes. The brand new Lions. You don't think the people would say that's a fairy tale ending? The NFL is a beautiful thing that these are even being accused of happening, but the amount of stories in fairy tale book mm -hmm. endings there could be is never ending, which is why the NFL is continuing up and to the right, AJ. Well, I mean, they don't need to script it. That's the thing. Like people want to act like there's but all this, in this. Yeah, there's all this collusion and all this stuff happening. You don't have to do that. I mean, you have 22. You have 11 on 11 facing each other. There's a lot of moving parts. A lot of coaches. A lot of different things happening. Like you don't have to do that. Like this just naturally plays out. You said it though. Think about the script. They started the season, Lions and Chiefs, and then the Lions run. And if they would have been the last game of the season too, oh, oh, that script, that would have oh, been the script. That would have yeah. been a full yeah. callback. We would have had callbacks yeah. in the entire <laughs> script. They kind of missed that. But I would just like to say, I understand we're corporate chills. Okay, I understand oh, yeah. people just tell us what to say, mm -hmm. and we have no brains or thoughts. Beep, boop, beep, I would just like to let people. I don't have faith in humans enough to be able to execute it. I think you're giving people far too much credit. We've got a chance to peek behind the curtain in a lot of different companies, and the people that are at the top, <laughs> not as, yeah. you know, not as, you know. So you're giving people a lot of faith. Just remember that. But we will certainly stay open-minded to the thought 
that the NFL is working all of us. But we will all agree that the sport is phenomenal.